Chapter 3141 Blood Match Long Chen's pupils instantly turned black. The next moment, a black saber even longer than him appeared in his hand. Just then, Ku Wuaya's hand touched by Shishi. However, a golden rune suddenly lit up on her forehead, blazing like a sun. As for Ku Wuaya, he felt like a meteor had struck him, and he was sent flying. A seal? Ku Wuaya's expression completely changed. When that golden rune appeared, a sacred pressure enveloped this world. The instant that rune appeared, Bai Shishi was teleported out of the martial stage. He returned to the spectator stands, unconscious. Her seal has finally been undone up in the outer spectator stand, Bai Shishi's mother sighed with relief. When they had first placed a seal in Bai Shishi's body, they hadn't expected a certain thing, due to the existence of the outer seal. Bai Shishi's most primeval bloodline power began to fall into a slumber and formed its own seal. It was only when Bai Shishi's mother undid the outer seal that she noticed this problem. Despite doing her best, she was unable to stimulate that slumbering power. However, she also didn't dare to speak of it to Bai Shishi. After all, Bai Shishi had to face this battle. If she mentioned it to Bai Shishi, then with her character, if she lost, she would hate them to death. This deepest part of her bloodline needed to be awakened by herself. It would only awaken when she urgently needed it or was on the verge of death. Other than a seal, Bai Shishi's body also had a protective talisman. Bai Shishi herself was unaware of this, but when her mother had noticed that deeper seal, she had secretly added this protective talisman. She naturally wouldn't allow her own daughter to die on the martial stage. This backup plan was then activated when Ku Wuaya dared to blaspheme her daughter, sending her out. Just as the protective talisman activated, her slumbering bloodline power was awakened. Although she had lost, this awakening made it all worth it. With Bai Shishi sent out, the martial stage returned to its original appearance. As for the barrier, even as Long Chen pointed his saber at it, the eye-like rune vanished with the end of the battle. Seeing Long Chen standing in front of the barrier like that, countless people felt him to be foolish for sending himself to his death, but they were even more shocked. Countless young maidens in particular grew infatuated with him. If someone was willing to risk their life like this for them, then they would also be willing to use their lives to protect that person. Regretfully, such a thing only existed in stories. People were all selfish, who would send themselves to their deaths for others. However, Long Chen had done so twice, once for Dai Wu and once for Bai Shishi. Ignoring the rules of the martial stage, he had been going to charge through to save them. That foolishness truly made their hearts ache. Dai Wu had no relationship with Long Chen, yet, just because of a single conversation, he was willing to throw his life away for her. Was there someone more foolish than him in this world? But this foolishness touched countless hearts. Ku Wuaya was also sent out of the martial stage, and he sighed regretfully inside. Just a bit more, and he would have baited Long Chen into being destroyed by the formation. Once he was dead, Ku Wuaya could focus entirely on his battle with Ji Yuan. All you can do is acting. If you really had guts, you would have charged in sooner instead of going so slow. Are you just acting for others to see? Sneered Ku Wuaya. The spectators were enraged. Ku Wuaya's mouth was just as twisted and malicious as the rest of his body. However, no one dared to say anything. The corpse devil sex people were all cruel and merciless. They were all afraid of their reprisal, so they swallowed their anger. Long Chen didn't reply. He only silently put away his saber and returned to the spectator stand. He checked on Bai Shishi. After finding that she was fine, he returned to their residence. Everyone else also returned. They found that Long Chen was in seclusion, and no one dared to disturb him. Today, Long Chen's display was truly frightening. The next day, Bai Shishi woke up, fully recovered. A golden birthmark had appeared on her forehead. There was a golden rune within it. This golden rune seemed to possess power that could destroy heaven and earth. It was so powerful that others didn't even dare to look at it directly. Once Bai Shishi was awake, everyone's mood improved. Although she had lost, it was fine as long as she wasn't hurt. Furthermore, in the history of the Nine Prefecture Convention, no one from the High Firmament Academy had ever gotten into the top eight. That was already a very stunning accomplishment. On top of that, they still had Long Chen. The High Firmament Academy was actually fighting for first place. Their hope now rested on Long Chen. 
However, Long Chen hadn't said a word after the fight. They were all worried for him. Long Chen had lost his past intelligence and calm, and that was not a good premonition. Bai Shishi knocked on Long Chen's door, but he didn't open it, so she could only leave. When she went to her mother's room, the mother and daughter pair looked at each other. After that, Bai Shishi's mother shook her head. Foolish child, you've fallen for him. Nonsense, I won't fall for any man. I don't need one, Bai Shishi blushed and shook her head. I've told you before, once you encounter a foolish oaf willing to risk his life for you, you won't be able to escape. That's the fate of us women. I was also proud like you. Your father is a careless fool, completely different from the partner I dreamed of. But when he used his own body to receive an enemy's blade for me, I knew that I was doomed. When it comes to love, there is no such thing as subduing and being conquered. There is no stronger or weaker. There is no fight for status or position. When you fall for someone, you can only obediently surrender. Struggling is meaningless said by Shishi's mother profoundly. Bai Shishi shook her head. I don't know your world, but you don't know my world either. Don't use your values to judge me. I am me. I am different from you. After saying that, she turned and left. Watching her back, a strange smile appeared on her mother's face. On the third day, Long Chen came out of his room. He was wearing a cloak that covered most of his face. Looking at him, no one dared to say a word. They simply followed him back to the island. When Long Chen appeared, the lots had yet to be drawn. Long Chen then directly went to the fourth remaining competitor who wasn't himself, Ku Wuaya, or Ji Yuayun. Hand me your tablet. Long Chen's voice was ice cold and contained boundless killing intent. Every word seemed to be a bloody curse of death. That expert shivered. He had progressed to this point by paying his opponent, and he had no intention of fighting these three monsters. Hence, he handed over his tablet, quivering. Long Chen then smashed this tablet against his own, shattering it. Following that, the martial stage rumbled. Even the Huaiyan Trading Company's people were shocked. The lots weren't even drawn, so how was the martial stage activating? Long Chen, he, he activated the martial stage's blood match and wants to fight one against two, Bai Shishi's mother's expression instantly changed. The entire crowd instantly erupted in chaos. Chapter 3142 Peak Fury When the martial stage was activated, a barrier appeared. It was covered in countless blood color chains. Heavens, the blood chains have appeared. This is a battle to the death. One side must die in order for it to be released, exclaimed a divine lord. Just like the Tao discussion stage, the martial Tao stage was also a divine item passed down from ancient times. Although it was Silver Moon City that oversaw it, even they didn't know much about its history. All they knew was that once the martial stage was activated, everything was done according to its laws. No one could interfere, or they would be killed by the martial stage. The martial stage also had its own special laws. People had tested them before. For example, someone had activated the martial stage's blood match once tens of thousands of years ago. When four experts appeared, they could do a two against two fight to the death. However, once such a match was started, one side had to die. If their battle took over a day without a victor being decided, everyone on the martial stage would be killed. Using that person's tablet, Long Chen had directly activated the blood match and then crushed that person's tablet, essentially making it a one against two battle to the death. Long Chen, have you gone mad? Bai Shishi grabbed Long Chen furiously. She had never expected him to make such a choice. However, when she grabbed him, she saw his face and stiffened. Three black marks had appeared in his eyes. You. I'm angry, angry to the peak. I cannot wait any longer. Long Chen did his best to make his voice sound natural for Bai Shishi, but it still grated. Yesterday, in the face of Ku Wuaya's provocation, even if he had to face the martial stage, he would still break it to save Bai Shishi. Although Bai Shishi was all right in the end, his rage had not dissipated. He had barely managed to endure it, but it was also during this time that he noticed those three black marks in his eyes. This was the power of the purgatory eyes, and it had started to leak out. Furthermore, his killing intent was completely uncontrollable. It was very painful. If he didn't unleash this energy, he would go mad. Thus, he couldn't wait. 
he decided to end things with Ku Wu Ai and Ji Yu Ai Yun together. It was not to show off, but it was because he had no other choice. His anger had reached a peak. However, when Bai Shishi heard these words, she thought about something else. Without realizing it, a layer of mist appeared in her eyes. She also thought of her mother's words. When a foolish oaf was willing to risk his life for her, her fate would be set. You must come back alive, otherwise, Bai Shishi looked at Long Chen, her voice quivering ever so slightly. I will. Long Chen nodded. His tablet began to flash, and he appeared on the martial stage, facing Ku Wu Ai and Ji Yu Ai Yun. The martial stage shuddered and rapidly grew. At this moment, an immense pressure caused the clouds to change color and the sky to rumble. Heavens, black clouds covering the heavens. What kind of premonition is this? The sunny day instantly became shrouded in black clouds. The world became dark, and a tense air pressed down on people's hearts. This ancient martial stage will base its defensive power on the power of its fighters and how much destructive power they have. However, under normal circumstances, its strengthening only occurs after it is partially destroyed. This time, the battle hasn't even started yet, but the martial stage has begun to strengthen itself. This signifies that their power has surpassed our expectations. Heavenly rumbling, black clouds. This is probably a premonition of a peerless heavenly genius falling, but we don't know who. I wonder who of these three is so powerful that even before dying, they invoke a heavenly Tao manifestation. People clenched their fists as they watched nervously. This was a battle between peak experts. They didn't dare to even blink for fear of missing something. Long Chen, I didn't expect you to be able to court death so flashily, Ku Wuaya sneered, wielding his wolf tooth club in his hand. You really are making things hard on yourself. I don't want to fight with this fellow. A corpse devil cultivator isn't qualified to fight alongside me. Ji Yuai Yun looked at Ku Wuaya beside him and shook his head. Ku Wuaya's expression changed. Do you think that being in Puda's disciple makes you so amazing? You aren't even close to a match for me. Ku Wuaya was naturally enraged by Ji Yuai Yun's disdain. Of course, when it came to their background, he couldn't compare to a world king's disciple. However, he had absolute confidence in his power. Both of them taunted each other as if they were indifferent to Long Chen's existence. With Long Chen's face covered by his cloak, his body quivered. He then extended a hand, and a black saber appeared in it. Long Chen stood there with his black saber resting on his shoulder. He didn't unleash any aura, but the martial stage's barrier shuddered. After that, boundless killing intent passed through the barrier, causing the black clouds in the sky to shake and thunder to howl. The heavenly deos were wailing. Just how many people has he killed? How can he frighten even the heavenly deos? Shouted a divine lord. A person's killing intent was related to how many life forms they had killed. The millions and millions of people here were all experts, and it was unknown just how many divine lords there were. However, they had never seen someone with such terrifying killing intent. They stared in shock at Long Chen, this champion of the Tao discussion stage whose smile was like that of a warm neighbor, had become a devil king from hell in the blink of an eye. Just where did this killing intent come from? This is boss's true battle state. Make sure to watch closely, Chen Feng cried out excitedly. He was finally seeing Long Chen fight all out again. Bai Ziaol and the others weren't able to muster up any excitement, as they were all shaken by Long Chen's killing intent. There was only fear in their hearts, not excitement. Do you know why I challenged you one against two and activated the blood match? Long Chen looked at Ku Wu Ai and Ji Yu Ai Yun, his voice icy like the summons of a death god. Chapter 3143 Absolute Power Holding his black saber, Long Chen was unleashing terrifying killing intent. Even the martial stage's barrier was shuddering because of this overwhelming killing intent. Ripples were passing through it. Ku Wu Ai and Ji Yu Ai Yun's expressions were originally disdainful, because in their eyes, Long Chen wasn't a match for them. They both felt that he was still lacking compared to the two of them. But his killing intent caused that opinion to change. Even as fellow heavenly geniuses who had killed countless experts, they had never witnessed such heavy killing intent. This killing intent had condensed into a substantial form and was practically its own domain. 
weaker people wouldn't even be able to move within this killing intense domain. Their will would crumble and their souls would directly extinguish. Every single one of Long Chen's words was like a hammer smashing into their hearts, and they could no longer hold any disdain for him. HMPH, you have some ability, but is this your base for challenging us at the same time? That only means that you're a frog at the bottom of a well. You have no idea how powerful I am. I don't mind telling you that when I fought by Shishi, I didn't even use half my power, sneered Ku Wuaya. As for Ji Yui Yun, he remained expressionless, seemingly disdaining to even answer Long Chen's question. No matter how powerful you are, it's meaningless. The reason I challenged both of you is because I was worried one of you would run off after I killed the first. I can't be bothered to chase after you. This will save me quite some time. An icy light shone in Long Chen's eyes. Ha ha ha, Ku Wuaya laughed as if he had just heard the world's funniest joke. Just as Ku Wuaya was laughing, Long Chen stamped on the ground and shot toward him like a black meteor. Shocked cries rang out as soon as he moved. The barrier between them hasn't vanished yet. Just then, a saber and a man pierced through the barrier. A black saber image tore into the sky, and a black river of stars slashed toward the two of them. The two of them were shocked. Their battle had yet to officially start, but Long Chen had directly attacked, ignoring the defense of the barrier. Ji Yui Yun formed a one-handed seal and vanished just as the saber fell. As for Ku Wuaya, he didn't even have time to dodge. Boom. Ku Wuaya was directly struck by the saber, which even slashed through the martial stage's first barrier next to the spectator stands, leaving a giant scar. The spectator's jaws dropped. The power of his saber shocked them. They then looked at Ku Wuaya's split body. Ku Wuaya died. No, he's not dead. Ku Wuaya appeared in a corner of the martial stage, his expression a mixture of shock and fury. Looking at the corpse that Long Chen had split in two, they realized that it was a black furred corpse. A substitution art. Startled cries rang out, unable to dodge in time. Ku Wuaya had used a substitution art to save his life, but such a thing required previous preparation. The substitute had to be hidden in advance. Without preparation, there was no way to use such a technique. People quickly realized that while Ku Wuaya had been looking down on Long Chen on the surface, he was actually quite afraid of him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have set up such a technique in advance. But it was due to this fear that he had survived. Ku Wuaya was enraged. That was no ordinary substitute, but an ancient corpse puppet he had spent a huge amount of time and effort on building. It was a corpse puppet refined from an expert of the ancient era. The defense of this corpse was so great that even an attack from a treasure item wouldn't be able to cause it any damage, but Long Chen had ruined it. This ancient corpse was something that Ku Wuaya had been planning on using to sneak attack Ji Yui Yun during their fight against Long Chen. He was hoping to give Ji Yui Yun a serious injury during their fight. As long as Ji Yui Yun was killed, it would be easy to deal with Long Chen, or so he thought, but he hadn't expected this plan to be ruined right at the start. Courting death, Ku Wuaya roared and black chi ear upted from his body. That ancient corpse's potential had been limitless. As long as he continued to work on it, it could be raised to the level of a divine lord. But now it was gone. Not only was it destroyed, but he was also humiliated. He could not tolerate such a provocation. Ku Wuaya's manifestation burst into existence, and the roar of ten thousand devils could be heard, along with the voice of the heavenly howler. Countless black figures appeared in his manifestation, they were strange beasts, all of them as large as mountains. Ku Wuaya's body also became covered in black spots that transformed into wriggling vipers. After that, black flames ignited around him, and his aura instantly erupted. It was several times stronger than when he had fought by Shishi. Heavens, this is his true power, startled cries rang out. He hadn't just been bragging. He really hadn't brought out his full power against Bai Shishi. The wolf tooth club smashed into the air, unleashing a giant image that was like a divine pillar smashing toward Long Chen. Long Chen had struck him with his saber, so he was going to strike back to even things out. In the face of this attack, Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder. After that, black ripples appeared in his hand, and his icy voice rang out once more. You're still trying to hold back at this time? You're worse than animals. You don't know what respect is. Today, I'll show you absolute power. 
Long Chan bent his knees and back ever so slightly, it was as if he was carrying the entire world. Inside his heart, he cried, Divine Ring, Azure Dragon Battle Armor. A dragon cry resounded throughout heaven and earth. Long Chen's giant divine ring appeared behind him. As it circulated, the 10,000 Daos crumbled, and Long Chen's body became covered in white dragon scales. There was a flame mark on every scale emitting majestic power. Divine Flames, Ignite. Long Chen's divine flames instantly ignited. With the flames on his scales burning, gusts of astral winds unfurled in every direction. Chapter 3144 Unleashed Power Astral winds raged. It was as if millions of invisible wind blades were slicing through the air. As a result, Ku Wuaya's giant attack rumbled and actually crumbled just like that. What? Just his aura is enough to repel Ku Wuaya's attack. What kind of power is that? Everyone stared in shock at Long Chen. He was covered in white dragon scales, and flames burned on top of them. It was possible to see a white azure dragon roaming around Long Chen's body within those flames. When the dragon roar resounded through the air, his terrifying might shook the formation. These people are all monsters. Under that kind of pressure, I wouldn't even be able to attack before being crushed, said a primal. Despite being in the divine flame realm, how was the difference between them so immense? Heavens, Long Chen's aura is still rising. He has even greater power. Startled cries rang out. As the astral winds continued, Long Chen's aura fluctuated intensely. It was as if some greater power was about to burst out. How can this be? People stared in shock at Long Chen. His power was clearly scattering, not condensing. He hadn't even started to pull it back in, so it hadn't reached the limit. This wasn't his peak condition yet. Ku Wuaya's disdain had long since vanished. Now, he felt his hair standing on end, and an intense feeling of death started to fill him. Starry River of the Sky Art. Long Chen suddenly shouted thunderously, while inside he shouted, Six Star Battle Armor. As a result, the land beneath Long Chen's feet exploded, transforming into nothingness. It was like a volcano accumulating power for millions of years was erupting. A pillar of light then tore into the sky, piercing through the martial stages barrier. Also, the black clouds were blown apart, allowing them to see the stars in the cosmos. The barrier, it's broken. The martial stages barrier couldn't be broken. This was simply common knowledge. Even divine lords couldn't break it, but it was pierced by Long Chen's aura. They instantly became dumbfounded, not daring to believe their eyes. Countless cracks covered the barrier until it shattered. After that, startled cries rang out as a terrifying chi wave blasted over. Just at this moment, a new barrier appeared, but part of the chi wave leaked through. A ripple could be seen moving toward the spectators. Fortunately, another barrier appeared in front of the spectator stands, but this barrier was then blasted apart just as it appeared. People who had expected this barrier to block the attack suddenly cried out in terror. The ripple blew apart the inner spectator stand, leaving countless people covered in blood and looking wretched. The outer spectator stands people who had originally envied them for having a closer vantage point immediately stopped feeling that way. It seemed that the outer spectator stand was safer. Bai Shishi's golden shield slowly retracted, restoring everyone's field of vision. When they saw Long Chen unleashing wild astral winds that tore at the heavens, Luo Bing and the others almost jumped in excitement. They had never expected Long Chen to be concealing such terrifying power. Thinking of their previous worry for him, they found it laughable. In the outer spectator stand, the disciples of the High Firmament Academy shouted so loudly that their throats broke, yet that didn't stop them. Even the martial stage was unable to bear his power. Due to the pillar of light soaring out of his body, the barrier was unable to fully reform before it was destroyed again. Another barrier quickly appeared, but still, another chi wave escaped. Again. Startled cries rang out as everyone defended, but they were once the experts, who had been blasted away by the first chi wave and had chosen to run back, now ran even further away, with quite a few injured again. They decided to simply stay in the outer spectator stand. More barriers continued to rise and be destroyed, unleashing wave after wave. As the inner spectator stance barrier was unable to block those terrifying chi waves, 
it was left riddled with holes, with only a few primals able to ignore the astral winds. Even those primals were injured, but experts had their own dignity. Even if they were injured, they chose not to go to the outer spectator stand. If you can't even endure this leaking aura, how can you be called an expert? Unless the spectator stand is completely destroyed, I won't be leaving. One of the primals directly made a stubborn declaration. Within the martial stage, Long Chen's aura was continuing to rise, his divine ring spun, and a dragon roar continued to resound through the air. One man in one saber appeared incredibly arrogant, as if viewing everyone else as beneath them. Ku cool Wuaya stared in shock as he stood in the air. He had never expected such a thing. Standing in the air with those astral winds, raging was like being a tiny boat on a raging sea. However, even as these wild astral winds raged through the martial state, he wouldn't have run away with the destruction of the barrier, right? Asked by Zayadol. But when he thought about it, that didn't seem likely. However, the other possibility was that he was still hidden within the martial stage. But if that was true, and he was able to remain hidden even within this raging space, his concealing arts were truly terrifying. The barrier was broken eight times before Long Chen's or finally started to condense. As the barrier had stopped breaking, the spectators sighed with relief. When the astral winds faded, the martial stage returned to calm, and the ground slowly settled. The barrier covered the stage once more. Everything had returned to calm, but this calm world was even more terrifying. Everyone instantly grew so tense that they could only hear their own heartbeats thudding in their ears. Long Chen, he's injured, Bai Shishi looked at Long Chen and suddenly saw blood leaking from the edges of his dragon scales. As for Long Chen himself, he didn't even seem to notice that blood. He looked at Ku Wuaya. If you don't use your full power, you won't have the slightest chance later on. After saying that, Long Chen began to walk over to him. Every step he took caused the void to shake. The sound of his footsteps was like the overture performed by a death god before killing people. Chapter 3145 Corpse Devil Projection Long Chen walked toward Ku Wuaya, just like how Ku Wuaya had walked toward the bound by Shishi. However, Long Chen had a giant saber on his shoulder, and every step he took caused the world to shake. He was like a devil king from the depths of hell. In a person's life, they should learn what respect is. All experts are revered and weaklings exist to be killed. That's dog shit. No matter how powerful a person is, they must have respect and gratitude for this world. Otherwise, no matter how evil you are, someone worse will come to take your life. Your blood will be used to wash away your sins. Long Chen's voice was cold, like the judgment of a Yama king. The black marks continued to revolve in his eyes. Ha ha ha, who do you think you are the judge of righteousness? You've killed countless people, yet you dare to judge others? If experts don't stand above all others, why work like your life's on the line to cultivate Ku Wuaya laughed disdainfully. At this moment, figures began to wiggle within Ku Wuaya's manifestation. As one figure after another appeared, Ku Wuaya's skin grew darker and darker. It began to transform, looking like a withered corpse. But a vast, sea-like power rose within his body. Long Chen ignored these movements from him. He coldly said, I've seen far too many idiots like you. I'm not saying these words for you. I don't waste my saliva on dead people. I say it for certain people in the spectator stands. I don't want to kill people, but don't force me. Don't anger me because once I'm angry, even I don't know what I will do. On the spectator stands, quite a few experts' hearts shook. Those that were his enemies and had provoked him fell to burst of fear. When the High Firmament Academy's disciples had first entered Silver Moon City, countless people had sneered at them and provoked them. Now, those people truly felt like there was no medicine to cure their stupidity. This was a demon who dared to challenge Ku Wuai and Ji Yuai Yun together. They were already terrified of Ku Wuai and Ji Yuai Yun, but Long Chen was now even more terrifying than both of them. Long Chen's vast killing intent locked onto Ku Wuai, he sneered. Are you sneakily using a trump card that you can't show others? Or did you think that I wouldn't notice? A senior once told me not to play around with such shameful tricks, because in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless. I've always kept those words in my heart. When I think back, 
My old self really was just as laughably foolish as you. I won't use my intelligence now because in this world, many times, intelligence is unable to resolve your problems. You can only use martial power. When Long Chen slowly raised his saber, the world fell deathly silent. All the murderous ore of heaven and earth was sucked into this saber without leaving a single drop. What a terrifying mental energy. It has already merged with the world, exclaimed the Divine Lord. This mental energy was incredibly profound. Only those who had come into contact with it understood it. Those who hadn't wouldn't understand it no matter how it was explained to them. This was an energy that lay above spiritual strength. One that was similar to willpower yet also different. It was like invisible roots from a tree, extending into heaven and earth. My mental energy came from cultivation of the music Tao, while his mental energy was tempered by endless slaughter. There is a huge difference in concentration between the two. A voice rang out. Everyone looked over to see that it was the expert from the Zither sect, Liao Yu Huang. Her expression was complicated as she gazed upon Long Chen. Now she understood why he had interrupted her rising mental energy. If they had gone any further, this slaughter intent would have erupted. When that erupted, it would be like a sword coming out of its sheath, like an arrow being loosed from its string. There would be no return without blood. If it was unleashed, then without killing her, his own mental energy would cause a backlash that would affect his future. It was the same now. Even without the martial stage's rules in effect, right now, either he killed Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuya, or he died. There was no third possibility. When it came to mental realm, Liao Yu Huang had a huge natural advantage thanks to her music cultivation. Although she wouldn't dare to say that he was unrivaled, amongst all these cultivators, the mental energy of music cultivators was definitely the strongest. However, when compared to Long Chen's mental energy, it was like hers was a tiny stream compared to a vast sea. Now, this vast sea was awakening, becoming a raging storm. Use whatever tricks you have. As for myself, I will only use this one saber Long Chen slashed his saber. His movements weren't fast, but his saber left behind a black crack in the air wherever it passed. Saber Chi ear up the toward Kuwaya. Corpse Devil Projection ancient Tao transmission, Ku Wuaya roared, and those wriggling figures behind him unleashed rays of light onto his back. In that instant, Ku Wuaya's aura rose by several times, shocking everyone. In the blink of an eye, his power had multiplied. How can he increase his power so much? Is he not afraid of his body exploding? exclaimed Luo Xue. Ku Wuaya's physical body essentially isn't human. It's half corpse. Due to absorbing so much corpse poison, his physical body has been strengthened to the point of being impervious to blades or spears. When he fought Fairy Shishi, he intentionally let her sword pierce his body to create the illusion that that was the limit of his physical body. He's quite crafty. His half-corpse body can endure this kind of eruption. He did that before to make Fairy Shishi careless so that he could counter that. Surprisingly, Liao Yu Huang walked over to them and answered her question. Boom. Just then, Ku Wuaya's bone club smashed into Long Chen's saber. The clash of these two divine weapons unleashed a heaven-shaking explosion. The instant they clashed, it was as if a sun was born between them. It rapidly grew and struck the barrier. The barrier was like glass, instantly shattering. Not good. The spectators cried out in horror as that divine light raced toward them. Chapter 3146 One Saber Shakes Experts The barrier shattered, which terrified the experts remaining in the inner spectator stand. If they were struck by this, would they have any chance of surviving? Just then, chains appeared around the martial stage. Like a giant lantern, the martial stage was sealed inside. The shockwaves blasted the chains, but they were contained. The martial stage has actually changed form. People were stunned. The martial stage was no longer the same. It was now covered in chains, looking like a paper lantern, but despite that, quite a bit of energy still escaped, and that energy blew past these people's faces, cutting them like knives. However, they all endured that pain to watch, Long Chen's saber was pressing down on Ku Wuaya. Corpse Chi erupted out of Ku Wuaya's body, ten thousand devils were roaring within his manifestation, there seemed to be countless black vipers swimming across his body. 
However, no matter what he did, Long Chen's black saber continued to steadily suppress him. Ku cool Wuaya's face was twisted from the effort, but Long Chen's saber seemed to be as heavy as an entire world. Ku cool Wuaya was unable to shake him. As the saber pressed down, the martial stage was slowly sinking as well. The entire island became covered in cracks and began to sink too. Waves rose from the sea, crashing down on the island. With just his own power, Long Chen seemed to be bringing about the end of the world. The stars shuddered and endless power poured through his body. This time, Long Chen's rage resulted in him unleashing his full power. All his 108,000 stars ignited, and he activated the six-star battle armor. He now possessed a power that even he hadn't dared to imagine. However, using this power also came with a price. His physical body was being pushed past its limits, so blood slowly leaked out from beneath his scales. Painful pangs also came from all over his body, but he ignored it. This pain actually brought him a kind of difficult to describe pleasure. It was as if hurting himself within his anger was also a kind of delight. The power of his divine flames was constantly injuring himself. Fortunately, he had expected this, and the wood foundation divine trees in his primal chaos space were filled with life energy, healing his body as it broke down. Other than being painful, it didn't affect him. Veins throbbed on Long Chen's arms as his power grew, while Ku Wuaya's body was quivering. Strange sounds came from it as if it was about to be smashed apart. Just then, Long Chen swung his hand through the air. As a result, the void exploded and a dagger appeared, stopping less than an inch from Long Chen's neck. Its GUI unstartled cries rang out. People had almost forgotten about him, but he had suddenly appeared. Long Chen's hand struck a fat face, and GUI Yun's figure appeared. He was sent flying, smashing into the net of chains and bouncing back. Everyone saw a very clear handprint left on his face. It was such a deep imprint that it was funny, but no one laughed. Instead, they were shocked. Only after Long Chen had sent him flying did people realize that Long Chen was still pressing down on Ku Wuaya with only one hand on his saber. Even then, Ku Wuaya was suppressed. That meant that the difference in their physical power was clearly immense. Long Chen was able to suppress him with one hand and still had another hand capable of dealing with Gui Yun's sneak attack. The High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered loudly as encouragement, while those that hated Gui Yun also cheered along. The fact that Gui Yun had tortured the life forms of the Butterfly Spirit Race and the Butterfly Dance Race had drawn public fury. Almost everyone wished him dead, so this slap was incredibly satisfying to them. One draws my attention, the other sneak attacks. Did you plan this in advance? I already told you that your tricks are dog shit in front of absolute power. Did you think your special technique that suppresses the butterfly dance race's spiritual seal would mean that I couldn't track you? Actually, I could have killed you just now with that slap, but I feel like that would be letting you off too easily. It won't resolve the hatred in my heart. I'll show you what a tooth for a tooth and eye for an eye means, Long Chen's voice was full of hatred and anger. He was unable to accept that races like the Butterfly Spirit and Butterfly Dance races were treated so cruelly by others. When Dai Wu's soul was extracted, he felt like he was the one being tortured. That hatred drove him mad. When Ji Yuai Yun vanished, Long Chen found that he had lost connection with the seal that Dai Wu had left behind for him. He knew that Ji Yuai Yun had found a secret art to block it. However, Ji Yuai Yun couldn't escape the senses of the nine star hegemon body art. Hence, Long Chen's slap scattered his teeth and split open his mouth, causing him to bleed. This was everyone's first time seeing Ji Yuai Yun injured. Furthermore, it was from Long Chen's slap in the face. Thinking of what he had done to Dai Wu and her companion, countless people couldn't help cheering inside. Boom. Just then, Ku Wuaya took advantage of this moment to counterattack. A pair of black wings spread on his back, and his withered body seemed to regain its vitality, making his flesh plump once more. A fiendish head mark lit up on his club. Long Chen felt an immense power pour through it, knocking him back several steps. Every step caused the void to collapse. Ku Wuaya really is sinister. He blocked Long Chen to get Ji Yuai Yun a chance to assassinate him, said Luo Xue. It's too bad that he underestimated Boss's power then. Even if Boss has to split his attention on them, Ku Wuaya can only knock Boss back. He can't injure him at all, sneered Chin Feng. When it came to power, who could compete with Long Chen? 
Their plan was good, but Long Chen's power far surpassed their expectations. Even the full power counterattack from Ku Wuaya was only able to knock Long Chen back, while he himself was knocked back as well. Long Chen, just then, Ji Yuan roared furiously. With the handprint still clearly imprinted on his face, Ji Yuan summoned a giant illusory image behind him. Countless cries came from the senior generation. The Blood Kill Halls in Puta. Chapter 3147 A World King's Pressure This black figure was also pudgy, and it even looked a bit similar to Ji Yuan, but his aura was one that shook people's souls. Long Chen, do you think that you're very powerful? Do you think that without my assassination arts, I can't do anything to you? Do you know that the majority of my power is sealed by my master? I will repay you a hundredfold for the humiliation you've given me. You wish to face me directly? Then I'll show you my true power. I, Ji Yuai Yun, do not specialize in assassinations. Ji Yuai Yun took out a single drop of blood, which shook even divine lords. As soon as it appeared, divine might spread. A world king's pressure, that is a world king's essence blood. The drop of blood merged into Ji Yuai Yun's manifestation. After that, a figure walked out of his manifestation, his aura identical to Ji Yuai Yun's. The two figures overlapped. In that instant, the space around Ji Yuai Yun cracked and shattered. Ji Yuai Yun's figure vanished. However, Long Chen only snorted and swung his saber. The void exploded. People first saw a dagger and only afterwards saw Ji Yuai Yun's figure. Long Chen's saber had struck his dagger. Astral winds whistled as their two weapons clashed. Long Chen coldly looked at Ji Yuai Yun. It seems that your words are true. Right now, your aura entirely belongs to Imputa. To put it more bluntly though, you are borrowing Imputa's power. It's not that the majority of your power is sealed by him. Is it so difficult to accept that you are simply weak? Long Chen's gaze was full of disdain. Ji Yuai Yun's aura and spiritual pressure had completely changed. This wasn't a power that belonged to him. Perhaps part of his power truly was sealed by Imputa, perhaps so that Imputa could help him nourish that power. But then he could also borrow Imputa's power when he needed it. Imputa truly did care about this final disciple of his. Even divine lords were shaken. This was the pressure of a world king. Even they would be affected by this pressure, and their combat power would be sharply reduced. It had to be known that they were outside of the martial stage. For Long Chen to be facing Ji Yuai Yun directly, the pressure had to be unimaginable. That was the irresistible will of a world king. But Long Chen didn't seem affected by it at all, stunning them. It seemed that Long Chen was truly the greatest monster of this nine prefecture convention. Long Chen's will was far stronger than theirs. This was a will that was capable of contending against the will of the heavenly Deos even when he was a youth. Perhaps someone could kill him, but no one could make his will bend. Suddenly, sparks flew out of Long Chen's saber. Ji Yuai Yun was forced back. With a final shove, Ji Yuai Yun was sent flying. Without even turning back, Long Chen swung his saber behind him. This seemingly casual yet also intentional swing struck a giant figure charging toward him. Ku Wuaya had rushed over, and yet with the way that Long Chen had moved, it was as if he had rushed over just to block Long Chen's saber, as if he had been worried about his saber missing. Despite being the one trying to attack, it seemed that Ku Wuaya was the one passively defending. Boom! Ku Wuaya and Long Chen were both blown back. Long Chen was knocked back seven steps, while Ku Wuaya coughed up more black blood. That wasn't intentional like when he had fought by Shishi. Everyone saw that Ku Wuaya's hands were bleeding. One of his arms was deformed, clearly broken. Borrowing the power from Ku Wuaya's blow, Long Chen charged toward Ji Yuan. He unleashed seven slashes, forcing Ji Yuan back further and further until he was unable to block the seventh blow. With a flash, Ji Yuan used his strange movement art to escape. Long Chen slashed his saber behind him once more, and Ku Wuaya, who had just charged back, was sent flying once again. This time, it was even more vicious, with his shoulder dislocated. He's reading them? How can he really be doing that in a battle of that level? Even divine lords were shocked. If the first time was a coincidence, then how could this coincidence occur twice? Was there really something so coincidental in this world? 
Only someone whose realm was far greater than their opponent, someone who was far stronger, could possibly read their moves so easily, but Long Chen and Ku Ruaya were in the same realm. Ku Ruaya had become famous even as a youngster and had plenty of combat experience. There was no way that his moves were so easy to read. Furthermore, the number of people that had witnessed him fighting all out was exceedingly low. This was Long Chen's first time fighting him. There was no way he could have such a deep understanding of his opponent, but he had accurately predicted Ku Ruaya twice, injuring him in the process. Due to reading him, Long Chen's attack struck Ku Ruaya just as the latter was condensing his own power for his attack. Thus, Ku Ruaya was stopped before he could unleash his full power. There was even a backlash from having his power flow backward. Having his power flow backward was like attacking himself. Ku Ruaya was already suppressed by Long Chen's power, but now that he was being read as well, just these two simple attacks from Long Chen injured him. Amongst the crowd, one person suddenly sighed. When Boss San discussed the Tao, he said that all the Dios and laws of the world have their own rules. Cultivation is defying the heavens, using mortal eyes to see the Grand Tao. If even the Grand Tao can be seen, then the moves that people make can also be seen, read, and broken. This has nothing to do with cultivation base, realm, or talent. As long as you see the opening in a person's moves, you can unleash a precise attack to defeat them in one blow. At that time, someone refuted him, saying that this was nonsense. In a battle between people in the same realm where the two sides are equally matched, it would be impossible to see through your opponent's moves like that. At that time, Boss San said that just because that person was unable to do it, it didn't mean that others couldn't. Now, he's using himself to prove that his words were correct. On the Tao discussion stage, Long Chen had said many shocking things that others were unable to accept. There were countless people who scoffed at his words. However, what he had said obtained the approval of the Tao discussion stage, making people think that the stage was broken. Even so, when he participated in the Martial Tao Convention, what he said was being proved over and over again. As the three of them fought, the martial stage shuddered. The barrier was shaking constantly, with gusts of astral winds blasting it over and over again. This was truly a world-shaking battle, with every attack containing the power to destroy heaven and earth. Even one against two, Long Chen was suppressing them, stunning countless people. Before this, who would have thought that someone in this world could fight Ku Wuaya and Ji Yuan together? After two hours, Ku Wuaya lost his patience. He formed hand seals and the void collapsed. After that, a giant figure came out of that collapsed space. A terrifying divine pressure descended. I can't wait any longer. I'm not fighting a battle of attrition. I don't even want to win the championship anymore. I'm going to decide victory or defeat with one move against Long Chen, covered in blood. Ku Wuaya's eyes were full of killing intent. When everyone saw the giant figure that he had summoned, their hearts skipped a beat. That giant figure was actually a coffin. Chapter 3148 Entering a Weak State When that coffin appeared, a mix of rot and death aura appeared. It felt as if smelling it would cause people to rapidly age. The sky instantly turned dark. The giant coffin floated above Kuruaya's head, unleashing black mist. Gui Yun, I'll give you the championship. Scram, I'll kill him myself, roared Ku Wuaya. He was truly infuriated. He had never been so vexed in his lifetime. All his moves were seen through by Long Chen. No matter what he did, he was easily countered. In front of Long Chen, it was like he was a novice to the cultivation world. That feeling of powerlessness drove him mad. That intense feeling of being thwarted also made him uneasy. Ever since he had found the corpse devil Dao, he had been unmatched in his realm. But all of that accumulated sharpness and confidence ran into a wall today. He couldn't accept this anymore, and it would very likely leave behind a heart devil. Even if the two of them did manage to slay Long Chen together, that heart devil wouldn't be erased. He had to personally defeat Long Chen. What a joke. Do I need you to give me the championship? Long Chen's life is mine. You're the one who should scram, sneered Ji Yuan. Weren't you trying to take advantage of me? Why didn't you take out this trump card at the beginning? The three of them paused and stood in different spots. Long Chen didn't press the attack. He just coldly looked at them. Not good. 
Long Chen is bleeding all over. Luo Su's expression changed. Only once they stopped did Luo Xua see that the slight traces of blood leaking throughout Long Chen's body had now turned into a heavier flow. His white scales were dyed red, and blood slowly dripped down. Everyone saw it. It seemed that Long Chen's condition wasn't good. After all, he was facing two terrifying figures. One was a monster of the corpse devil Dao, and the other was a world king's disciple. One against two, it was shocking that Long Chen was able to fight against the two of them for so long. At this point, people were already guessing that if it wasn't one against two, Long Chen would probably have won. Seeing his current state though, countless people felt worried for him. Ku cool Wuai and Ji Yuai Yan were both terrible people whom they hoped to lose, but it seemed that such a thing was unlikely. When Ku cool Wuai summoned his coffin, he told Ji Yuai Yan to scram. He clearly had the utmost confidence in this trump card of his, but Ji Yuai Yan actually told Ku cool Wuai to scram as well, demanding why the latter hadn't taken it out earlier. Just from their words, it was possible to tell that they both saw that Long Chen had left his peak condition and was starting to weaken and they both wanted to personally kill him. In comparison to the fame and reward for first place, killing Long Chen personally was more important to them now. That was because Long Chen had given them a serious blow to their confidence and sharpness. For Ji Yuai Yun, he had even been slapped in the face, and the handprint was still there. If they didn't personally kill Long Chen, it might become their life's regret or even a heart devil. That was the most frightening thing. As for Long Chen, Although he was covered in blood, his aura still didn't show the slightest sign of flagging. It was still burning brightly like a flame. In fact, it seemed to be growing stronger. Why exactly have they decided that boss is weakening? I can tell, said Bai Ziaol. You lack combat experience. Unfortunately, they don't know that those that drown always think that they're good swimmers. Countless people die because they think they have experience. But in this world, there's a kind of people that rely on breaking the laws of common sense to exist. Boss is one of them, said Chin Feng, still as confident as ever. The three of them were standing on the martial stage. No, it should be said that they were standing in a circular world of chains. Astral winds buffeted this space. It was as if invisible flags within space were constantly being blown. It was a shocking sight. Ha 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 ha, Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. His voice pierced directly into the heavens. Upon seeing this, Ji Yuai Yun and Ku Wuai's expressions changed. The so-called aura was a condensation of a person's essence, chi, and spirit. If any of them was lacking, then there would definitely be a change in their aura, as well as their voice. This one laugh was enough to show them that his aura wasn't weakening in the slightest. They had been calculating Long Chen's attack power and frequency, as well as his lost blood. Due to Long Chen's gushing aura, they couldn't determine the truth from just that. Long Chen was constantly bleeding. Based on their experience, they determined that he should be starting to enter a weak state. The reason Ku Wuai had taken out his coffin and even expressed that he was giving up on the championship was precisely because he had noticed this. Thus, he tried to force away Ji Yuai Yun before it was all too noticeable. Unfortunately, he had underestimated Ji Yuai Yun. Ji Yuai Yun was an assassin with even sharper vision than him. He had just as much experience in killing people. If Ku Wuai could notice this, then Ji Yuai Yun could as well. Thus, Ji Yuai Yun naturally would reject him. He had to avenge the enmity of being slapped in the face. Otherwise, no matter how high he soared in the future, there would be no way to wash away this stain. However, just as the two of them were planning this, Long Chen's laugh was like two resounding slaps in their faces. The warm-up is just finished, but now, you're starting to fight over who should get to fight me? Are you trying to make me laugh to death? Long Chen's laughter rang out darkly. What? Warm-up? Such a terrifying fight was a warm-up? Was he trying to tell a scary story? Everyone's jaw dropped. Even Divine Lords were dumbfounded. The level of their fight was not at all inferior to battles between Divine Lords. Such a thing was a warm-up? Was that not the biggest joke? The spectators felt like they had used up all the shock of their lifetimes on Long Chen. You still have trump cards, so how could I have used up all my trump cards? I really can't understand how weaklings like you have the courage to do such evil things. Just who gave you the courage? Long Chen slowly raised his saber and pointed it at the two of them. This is the real battle. Due to my own power, 
My physical body wasn't able to keep up entirely, and I had to let them get used to each other. Now I'll show you my true power. If you're still going to hold back, then I don't mind telling you that your trump cards will be brought to hell with you. You can show them off to the Yama Kings. Big words. Who do you think you're trying to scare? Cool Wuaya furiously formed hand seals. The giant coffin above his head rumbled and smashed toward Long Chen. Chains dropped from the coffin, sealing the space around Long Chen. Be suppressed, roared Ku Wuaya. He had only just finished shouting when a black saber suddenly pierced through his chest. Chapter 3149 Immortal King Ancient Corpse The saber was like a bolt of lightning striking out of nowhere and pierced Ku Wuaya's body, black blood slowly dripped down it. Long Chen was holding the saber, there was a pair of lightning wings on his back. Right now, countless lightning runes revolved within those wings, all of them containing a power that caused the world to shake. It was completely different from ordinary lightning, as it possessed a will of annihilation one that shook divine lords. When this pair of wings appeared, all the lightning in the black clouds vanished, as if afraid. The aura of heavenly tribulation, how can that be? The divine lord stared in shock at Long Chen's wings. In the immortal world, only divine lords and above had gone through tribulation, and only they were able to tell why the power of these lightning wings felt so familiar. Those below the divine lord realm, whether they were in the divine flame realm or the four peak realm, were not qualified to even undergo heavenly tribulation, but just in the divine flame realm, Long Chen had encountered heavenly tribulation, almost taking his life. However, he had also benefited from it because Leolong had absorbed the immortal lightning. Even so, the laws in the immortal world were different, so Leolong's control over Thunder Force was far inferior than when they were in the mortal world. Afterward, Long Chen had won the Tao Discussion Convention, and the ancient stage had given him the world extermination lightning radiance. Long Chen then had Lei Long train in this technique. As a lightning spiritual body, it was capable of comprehending this technique when Long Chen couldn't. When Lei Long mastered this technique, it also immensely improved of controlling the immortal world's lightning. At the very least, it was capable of an initial control over heavenly tribulation lightning. Thus, when these lightning wings appeared, Long Chen's speed skyrocketed. Since it wasn't his own power, but Lei Long's power, it came without any sign or warning. You! Ku Wuaya stared at Long Chen in disbelief. It was so sudden that he hadn't been prepared at all. His life was now in Long Chen's hands. I'll give you a chance. Long Chen coldly looked at Ku Wuaya, and his saber suddenly shuddered. Ku Wuaya's large body blew up just like that. A rain of black blood filled the air. He died, just like that. People stared at that black blood, not daring to believe it. Just then, the giant coffin that had smashed down toward where Long Chen had been now changed direction and smashed toward him again. He's not dead, startled cries rang out. If Ku Wuaya was really dead, then there was no way that the coffin would attack Long Chen again. Long Chen didn't dodge and just rested his saber on his shoulder. He slowly raised his left hand toward the coffin. He wants to receive it with his bare hand, countless eyes widened. At this moment, a lotus mark appeared on Long Chen's palm, and flame energy erupted. This lotus actually had a rainbow appear over it. Azure rainbow flame. When that flame appeared, all the experts were shaken. Was this not Chu Wang's flame? How was it under Long Chen's control? Boom. The giant coffin smashed down, and Long Chen's palm met it. In front of the giant coffin, Long Chen was as minuscule as an ant. However, his palm caused heaven and earth to resonate. That giant coffin suddenly came to a stop. Be broken, Long Chen shouted, and with a final push, the coffin exploded. Countless bits of rubble flew in every direction. After that, a figure appeared within that rubble. It was a white-haired elder wearing bizarre clothes. His body was withered. At this moment, his eyes suddenly opened, and an incomparably sharp pressure soared. The pressure of an immortal king. The spectators were stunned. This elder actually had the aura of an immortal king. That was a terrifying existence above a divine lord. Just who was it? It seems that I overestimated you. I thought you still had a substitute, but you don't. 
This immortal king should be your trump card. You were planning on controlling it to fight together against me. I gave you enough time to use your substitution art, but it seems that you could only abandon your physical body and if your soul merge into this ancient corpse. Long Chen gazed at the immortal king's corpse. He could sense Ku Wuai's spiritual fluctuations from it. Only once he said this did the spectators realize that this terrifying expert was actually an ancient corpse. At the same time, they were stunned. Just how confident was Long Chen? It sounded as if he had had a chance to kill Ku Wuaya, but had let him off anyway. Long Chen, I'll rip out your soul and torture you for eternity the corpse roared. The voice was Ku Wuaya's voice, but it was dry and rough. It was not the voice of a human. The corpse spread his arms. The rain of blood from Ku Wuaya's body was absorbed by this ancient corpse. As for Long Chen, he just watched, allowing Ku Wuaya to make his move. If Long Chen used his flame energy or thunder force to destroy this blood, he would clearly stop him, sighed Luo Xue. Even she had noticed that Ku Wuaya was merging with his essence blood to better control this ancient corpse, but Long Chen wasn't stopping him. She really was a bit worried, Long Chen was still bleeding, so she didn't understand why he would do this. He could clearly save some energy. What she didn't know was that he was doing this to get a better understanding of his current body. He wanted his body to get used to fighting like this so that it wouldn't affect his future battles. The other reason was that he found that this pain was able to suppress the power of the purgatory eyes. He didn't know if it was because the pain was distracting him and stopping him from feeling anger, but in any case, it was allowing him to think more clearly. When all the blood was absorbed, the withered corpse grew plumper and filled with vitality. Ku Wuaya then glared at Long Chen furiously. Long Chen, you destroyed my physical body. I'll kill you and everyone you care about. Ku Wuaya moved. With a single step, he crossed the distance between them and unleashed a punch at Long Chen. Chapter 3150 Long Chen's Greatest Power A withered fist that almost looked comical smashed toward Long Chen. Despite its frail appearance, it possessed the power of law. The world seemed to become illusory just because of it. Long Chen blocked with his saber. With a huge explosion, the illusion was shattered. Both Long Chen and Ku Wuai in his ancient corpse were sent flying. They then smashed into the runic barrier. Everyone was shocked to notice a thin white line appeared on the corpse's fist. That was clearly left behind by Long Chen's saber. The junior generation was shocked that this ancient corpse would be able to block that heaven-shattering saber. On the other hand, the Divine Lord stared in shock at Long Chen, unable to believe that he had resisted the Immortal King's power without dying. It had to be known that this Immortal King's corpse was perfectly preserved. Its fist still had its runes from when it was alive. Based on its clothes, it was definitely from an ancient time, but for it to be perfectly preserved after so many years meant that its physical body was absolutely terrifying. Otherwise, Ku Wuaya wouldn't treat it as such a treasure. After merging his blood and soul into this corpse, Ku Wuaya was now capable of activating a portion of an immortal king's might. That kind of might was enough to wipe out all experts in the Four Peak Realm. Even divine lords would flee. Was Long Chan really immune to this pressure? Although Ji Yuai Yun had the pressure of a world king, it was just the slightest trace, but this immortal king's corpse still had the wounds of an immortal king preserved. As for Long Chen, that one exchange had caused wounds to open up all over his body. Upon seeing this, Bai Shishi and the others' hearts clenched. Ku Wuaya charged back at Long Chen like a bolt of lightning. His wolf tooth club reappeared in his hand. Long Chen then snorted and repeatedly slashed his saber, weaving a web of saber images flying toward Ku Wuaya. Metallic ringing shook people's ears. It felt as if their souls were being torn apart, but despite that, everyone watched closely. This was a clash of heavenly geniuses that they might never see again, so they didn't want to miss a single detail. This was extremely beneficial to their future cultivation. Boom! The two of them exchanged hundreds of blows before the two once more separated. Long Chen was covered in blood, and many wounds had opened all over his body. It was a horrifying appearance. Long Chen, where did the tough mouth of yours go? Huh? You destroyed my physical body and ruined my future cultivation. I'll make you live a life worse than death. Anyone who dares to interfere, I'll kill them as well. 
I have nothing to lose, Ku Wuaya's face was twisted with hatred, and his voice dripped with resentment. This startled everyone, but thinking about it, they realized that with his soul merged into this corpse, he must be affected by the corpse's runes, he would only be able to rely on this corpse to cultivate. In other words, his original cultivation path was severed and he could only follow the path of this corpse. The only way he could break free from this corpse was to follow the corpse's original cultivation path to its old peak and then make a further breakthrough. Then he would be able to find a new body for himself. To walk someone else's path and reach an even higher level than them was truly as difficult as ascending the heavens. It was almost impossible. Thus, by destroying his physical body, Long Chen truly had set Ku Wuai's cultivation realm in stone. He would never rise to higher levels. Perhaps if it was someone else, their ultimate goal would simply be the Divine Lord realm. However, for a genius like Ku Wuaya, he definitely had his sights on higher realms. Now, he was limited to this quasi-immortal king realm. It was as if a person knew they were dying and that all their efforts were meaningless. This was unacceptable to such a peak heavenly genius. Ku Wuaya was also warning Ji Yuan not to interfere. In any case, he had become like this. So he didn't have any misgivings anymore. He didn't mind killing Ji Yui Yun as well. In the distance, Ji Yui Yun's expression was ugly. He also wanted to kill Long Chen, but Ku Wuaya had gone insane. Unless he could kill Ku Wuaya and Long Chen together, the enmity from his slap would not be avenged by him. The battle had taken several turns to end up like this. No one had expected such a thing to occur. A terrifying monster like Ku Wuaya had actually lost his physical body and his future. The prize of this battle was truly immense. Seeing Ku Wuaya roaring with resentment, Long Chen lazily rested his saber on his shoulder. He then closed his eyes and took a deep breath. After a while, he slowly opened his eyes and shook his head. Don't you think it's too early to say these things? Do you still not understand? I already said that I was worried that after killing one of you, the other would flee. Have you forgotten? Huh? Well, that's about enough. I figured out the limit of my body. With my recovery speed, my body should be able to enter it. Let this senseless battle come to an end. Long Chen's wild aura slowly faded until none of it was leaking at all. It felt as if he had simply given up on fighting. I loathe the way you talk so wildly with your expressionless face. Die, Ku I roared furiously and once more crossed the distance between them with a single step. Runes lit up all over his body, and he smashed his club at Long Chen again. This time, it seemed as if he was attempting to decide victory or defeat with one move. In the face of this attack, Long Chen slowly raised his black saber. It was silent, with no aura. There was no manifestation. He only let out a simple slash. Boom. Just as everyone thought that Long Chen was about to be killed, the black saber's runes lit up. A heaven-shaking explosion stunned everyone. After that, Ku Wuaya's body was sent flying and smashed into the runic net. As a result, the barrier deformed, and a large hole was made in it. Furthermore, they were shocked to see that Ku Wuaya's treasure item, the Wolf Tooth Club, was broken. Only half of it remained in his hand. With a chill, everyone turned to stare at Long Chen. 